Hello guys, this is Dylan here, and today my second channel, I'm going to show you a special video. It's a Morse code generator from probably my grand, great granddad Peter's friends, which is GJ3XZE. It's actually a Morse code generator or a paddle. It's never been open for many decades after he sent to him. So the last time I shown you was this radio set that I've shown you but now it's a new video so let's have a look at this morse code here's a uh, note I won't show you all of it, but I'll just open up the morse code. Oh, there we go. Here's the cover. It's from the company in Chicago, as you could see, in America. So let's open it up. Probably from the 50s, I think. I don't know. Right. Now, here is what it looks like. And with this old jack. Here's the left and right paddle. It could also hook up to this four track set player, but I'll do this video another time. I only just got this a week ago, I think, or maybe two weeks ago. So, let's power this Morse code up and let's have a lesson in here. And look. Okay, so let's turn this four track cassette player on. must connect this to microphone one all right let's have a try I'll turn it up if you hear this that's the noises unfortunately I do not have a generator where it could convert clicks to beep so all I could just do is just deal with here in the click, so let's just have a try. This this white puzzle doesn't work, but the only one that works is this. You could see it, you could see how it comes up. However, after I was showing it to Ant, I accidentally pressed this. It actually works. It actually makes noises. And when you press it, it does these strange noises. So let's have a try. Okay, so let's have a try putting words using Morse code. This one makes a better noise, I'll use this instead of instead of this one. So it's better using this instead. Okay, let's have a try.
Okay, that was it from the Morse code generator video and thanks for watching. Thank you.